In this short video, we're going to be looking at how to create a really, really basic uh, user interface create using Qt Designer. So I've got a basic one already created, and this is what we're going to try uh, to achieve. Um, so I'm just going to close that down first, and I'm going to um, start a new one off. So when you first open Qt Designer, you're going to see this screen, and you've got a choice of widgets, dialogues, or main windows. So main window is what we want today. Um, we'll look at dialogues and widgets another time. So we can click on create, and I'm left with this nice big window. So I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit because I don't. Oops, I don't need all of it. It's like it's being a bit unresponsive. There we go. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger as well. I'm using virtual machines, so sometimes it is a little bit laggy. Okay, that's fine, that's better. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this menu item because I don't need it, and now I'm ready to rock and roll. So, um, we can add things into our user interfaces uh, by using these widgets on the left-hand side. So I'm going to drag in a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna drag in a push button. I'm then going to drag in a, a line edit, and I'm also going to drag in a label. So this will give me kind of the fundamental building blocks of what I needed. So I'm going to enter some text here. So please enter a name. I'm just going to make that bigger so you can see all the text. Perfect. Uh, I'm just going to move that next to it. And my push button, I'm going to type in click me. Oops. Click me. Perfect. Now. That's kind of looking the way it was, but um, we need to make sure we name things, okay? So like in programming, when you create a variable, you want to give it a sensible variable name. In Qt5, you want to name each of your widgets something sensible so we can access it in code later. So I'm going to click on this text edit because I want to be able to get text out of it. And you can see over here on the object inspector, it's been highlighted. So at the moment, it's called line edit. So I'm going to change that. So... Uh, I'm going to call it uh, name txt and the push button I'm going to call um, check name btm. Okay, it's quite common to um, have a few letters at the end of these just kind of to represent what it is. So btm button txt text. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, so that's kind of everything set up. Um, we do want to, however, maybe change this text up here instead of saying main window. It's going to choose main window on the object inspector. And you see it's got its object name. That's not the text it's going to display rather than how it's accessed in programming. Um, so I'm going to scroll down and where it says window title, I'm going to change that to be my first app. And you can see that it's changed there. And that's pretty much it. You can then save the file. Okay, give it a sensible name, so my uh, first app. You can see I've already got one, so I'm actually not gonna save this. Um, and then we're ready to turn this into Python code, which is what the next video is gonna show you how to do. The next step, it revolves using a command line tool. Um, so it's a little bit more involved than this, um, but once you get your head around it, it is really straightforward, and you can create a little script to do it for you uh, just by double-clicking the button.